So this is the Redmi 9T. It's a budget phone made from Xiaomi. Today I'm going to be trying to run Windows 7 on it. So first of all, we'll go uh, to YouTube because I'm pretty sure that's where you can find the tutorials. Windows 7 Limbo PC Emulator. Now obviously I won't be running Windows 7 natively. It's just going to be an emulator. So uh, we'll see what video works out. Let's just check this one. So here we have the emulator itself. Let's try downloading it. Okay, it's gonna be a long article, isn't it? Blue stacks, no thank you. Uh, APK lasers, first and sure. Yes, these are the adventures of going through uh, sketchy websites. Okay, so we got our GitHub, so that's pretty cool. Wait, there's ARM or x86. I think x86 should be good. There we have it downloaded, so we're just gonna download the APK. It's as simple as that. Install. I don't need your Xiaomi security scan. It's just gonna show me an ad or something. Let's go to this one, whatever the hell. 1.5 gigabytes. That's a lot to ask for, don't you ask? Don't you think? Five minutes left. Well, that's great. That's actually pretty fast. Let's hope that the limbo version over here is the same one used on the tutorial, and it's just not. So he has a limbo PC emulator version 2.10. Not 6.01, so... Oh wow, it's an archive.org. So our Windows 7 file got downloaded, and let's just delete that Limbo x86 and just install the new one. Well, it's for an older version of Android, yes I know. What the hell is this? Hey yo. Okay, so now we can click on uh, new here. We'll just call it fake 7 free DOS x64 for some reason pc will stay pc cpu model is a core 2 duo and let's give it a nice and generous this one has four gigabytes of ram so we'll just only give this like 528 now if we go to the hard disk we'll enable this one then open and we'll look for our file so there it is the qcow2 vga display will be vmware it will boot from the hard disk we'll change this user interface to sdl go full screen i think we're good now we should be able to start the virtual machine okay so we get some lines uh please rotate why is this vertical how do you how do you bring up the menu hey look a mouse cursor and a terrible camera focus oh my days it's in portrait are you kidding me click sure how do you just let me click on that user welcome C can i just please rotate this thing how do you do it how do you even access the menu or settings or anything and there we are okay this looks an awful lot like windows xp this is kind of scary maybe this is just the start tradition so we'll go to about windows about windows if you please found your hardware intel processor oh uh oh are we getting okay what why are we opening documents? Oh, hey, I guess there we have it. Windows Embedded Standard 7. So it's barely even Windows 7. I bet I can't get arrow on this. Uh, hardware wizard. Do we have paint? Windows XP modified. Oh, and the whole thing crashed. Just as it revealed to me that it's not even actually Windows 7. Is this Windows XP modified? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shouldn't be surprised when there's this loading line. Now the mouse does not even want to move. That's just amazing. I feel like there's going to be a whole bunch of people going, <gasps> Can you play games in it or something? Even GTA San Andreas would probably not even run properly. Let's just check around our Internet Explorer. Will it actually open up? You double click something, it disappears. That's just a nice perk you don't get for granted. There is paint. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. H how do we pull up the keyboard? Ah, oh, there's paint. This looks exactly like the Windows XP one. Look at that. We can draw. What if we full screen paint? There you go. It's not that big, but why does it keep vibrating on each, on each click? Let me just draw a simple smiley face. That is not a smile. Why is it drawing straight lines? We don't want this. Cannot find server we get as a nice error. Oh there, wow, that is actually tiny, it's gonna be so painful. Google, google.com, the page cannot be displayed. So uh, no internet, you can't be expecting to even do web browsing. He was there in all programs. Accessories, do we get a notepad? We get wordpad, but not notepad. Command prompt, notepad. If only this was Windows XP, it would have been like unregistered hypercam combo. I don't know if you can even share files from the phone to this virtual machine. Now we can type in notepad isn't that amazing hey oh my days this is actually so painful to write in hey guys there me finna fuba sounds one letter close to a horrible word get club penguin 
pen gun membership for free <laughs> what am i typing what is this my intrusive thoughts are telling me to delete system 32 click on computer and we wait for our slow response time local disk c i believe hey dell extracted from some kind of dell desktop or laptop just computer in general where's my system 30 <gasps> there's our system 32 okay we're get wait wait why am i opening system 32 i said i'm gonna delete it not responding where's our selected system 32 so we right click by clicking a volume button we delete <laughs> yes cannot be deleted it's just aware can we customize this windows at all okay so appearance and themes as i already admitted that it's uh, windows xp modified i want the computer's theme not just a desktop background so we have our windows xp modified but can we bring it back to our xp like windows 7 hey, this one says windows 7 that looks interesting let me click hey look the window is still floating over there look at these graphical glitches huh and I'm expecting Arrow to run in this. This program is not responding. And now, let's try again. We'll go to apply. I'm pretty sure this is already the Windows 7 theme. There is no Windows XP theme as you've seen. Okay, so literally nothing changed. Window color buttons, Windows classic style, basic 32. Arrow? Sure. I want Arrow on my VGA display driver that is VMware. Would you look at that? It's a fake Windows arrow. Oh my thing. <laughs> this is the least thing I expected. Oh, look at that. Now it's time to just shut it off. Is it gonna show that Windows XP menu? This is the moment of truth. <gasps> yes! Go in black and white and go to turn off. It's kind of a shame that the sound doesn't even work at all. Uh, okay, okay, login off and computer is shutting down. After all of this, it just drained 9% of the battery. Okay, so, but we appreciate it. Peace. <laughs>